The engine block is the largest single piece of metal in a car. It houses and links all the engine's components, such as the cylinders and pistons, and it contains passages for circulating coolant. The engine block is where combustion converts into mechanical energy that drives the transmission propelling the car. Engine blocks used to be made of iron. Today they are mostly made of lightweight aluminium alloy for fuel efficiency. An engine block is a one-piece component cast from a sand mould. To make the mould, the factory mixes glue and a hardener. With zircon sand, this combination of materials can withstand the intense heat of molten metal, but only for one casing. Each mould is made up of sections, called cores, that fit together. To make each core, a machine blows the sand and glue mixture into a master mould made of iron. It injects a gas that activates the hardener, which solidifies the mixture. This is the base core to which the other cores will attach. The base core travels down an assembly line to receive the other cores. The next core moulds the engine block cylinder bores, which will house the motor's pistons. A robot inserts iron liners into six holes in the core. They prevent the aluminium walls of the bores from wearing out from abrasion. The base core receives 17 other cores. The ones for engine block areas through which oil will flow are coated with talcum powder. This keeps sand particles from sticking to the aluminium and getting into the oil. The machines glue certain cores so they'll stay intact when the robot flips them upside down and become attached to the rest. These are the last two cores. The mould is now fully assembled and ready for casting. Aluminium ingots are loaded into a device called an elevator bucket. It positions them above the jet melter, a gas-fired furnace. The bucket drops the ingots into the 800 degrees Celsius fire, liquefying the aluminium. Just before casting, the cylinder bore liners are heated using a high-frequency electric current. Aluminium will bond better to hot metal. The moulds are filled from the bottom to avoid contaminating the metal with aluminium oxide. Oxide forms when molten aluminium comes into contact with the air. Pouring into the top of the mould would expose the metal to oxygen, and the pouring action itself would mix in the oxide. After the casting, the mould spends six hours in a thermal sand reclaim oven that breaks down the glue so the sand falls away. The heat also strengthens the metal. The cast aluminium engine blocks emerge, needing just some minor finishing. Robots turn them upside down to spill out any loose sand. Machines saw off the risers, extra metal that fed the mould cavity to compensate for the 7% shrinkage that occurs when liquid aluminium solidifies. Finally, computer-guided tooling equipment performs a rough machining of the metal. This brings the engine block to a near-finished state. The engine plant that buys them does the final machining before installing the engine parts. Every engine block this factory produces passes through an automated vision system that inspects the engine, so you shouldn't be breaking down anytime soon.